Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Weekly Forex Analysis. My name is George, and today we're doing Weekly Forex Analysis as we do every Saturday. So in this video, I'm going to be analyzing EURUSD, US dollar, Japanese yen. So we're going to dive straight into the charts, and basically I'm going to share my views where the currency, uh, these two currency pairs might end up in the following week. We're going to start with the EURUSD first with a daily time frame. So let's jump into it's uh, okay, so we have nice uh, channel going on in here as you can see uh, the upper and lower trend lines I draw it especially the upper one looks uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna analyze uh, what basically what what happened uh, So we can see that the price came down tested this uh, support level Which is a quite significant level as the daily time frame as well. So it's a significant level and we bounce uh, bounce pretty nicely so it's going up but Overall, you can see that it's more uh, occurring towards downside than it's upside over the bigger uh, bigger picture, even though it's having this nice uh, nice move, but I'm not uh, convinced if, if you trade for the uh, bigger picture, then you continue up. But by looking at this, let's go a bit closer. Uh, so we can see that the price came up and tested this resistance, and we, we Pretty much just air kissed and uh, we bounced the air kiss. So we actually touched it. Uh, no, it, yeah, it's like air kiss. Yeah, it's air kissed and then we, we bounced pretty, um, pretty much straight away. Uh, but when we came down, so this, you can consider this one as a support level, not the very significant one, but it's a decent enough uh, support. So we can see the price, they tested it, and then we pushed immediately back up, and then we left with this uh, week, which shows me there's a, there's a good chance that the price will uh, push a higher for the following week. So what I'm aiming in here is there's a good chance the price will go to this uh, resistance level up here, which is at... One about 19800 zone. So we got this resistance uh, as well as we are pretty close to this uh, trend line. So depending on how long it's going to take, it might might basically mess around a bit and then then come up. So which will make it a more uh, more significant because the first we have a daily resistance and combined with the the upper channel. So it makes it even stronger. The more confidence you have, the stronger uh, the the zone uh, gets. So this is my overview in terms of the uh, what it might end up for now, of course, unless something changes. Let's go to jumping four hour time frame. See how we get on the four hour time frame. It does looking still pretty uh, pretty decent, strong. We left this week, so we bounced it, but then we pushed all the way back up uh, and tested this tested this uh, resistance eleven here, and then we bounced, and then. It's kind of still coming up. So we had this nice bullish four hourly candle followed by this um, inverted inverted hammer. So I think it's probably going to might mess around uh, between this uh, resistance and this support level, which they are the both on the daily time frame. So the red horizontal lines are the daily time frame, and if I put the black ones, that means I don't have it in here, but it's four hourly. Um, four hourly uh, resistance or support. So in this case, I think it's probably going to mess around a bit. And then potentially to shoot uh, higher to test this resistance and the uh, the upper channel, unless the price starts dropping. And certainly, if it breaks this level, then I will be looking more of a downside. Depending how you trade, if you are more of a swing day trader, uh, then you might need to change your approach. But overall, this is my view on a more of a bigger picture. Okay, now let's continue with the UJ. So starting with a daily time frame, uh, we can see that the price came up. We tested this resistance level, so this is a weekly. So this uh, basically blue horizontal line is the weekly resistance at one ten seventy zone. So we tested, put some indecisions, and then we bounced pretty nicely. And it now price came down to this uh, resistance. I did mention it, I think, last week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so the price came down to this uh, resistance uh, support level. Uh, we tested it and then bounced uh, not very aggressively in terms of the daily time frame. We left this a week in here. Uh, see, see how it's. Um, I'm gonna check the four hour time frames and see where what the price is doing. But of course, the overall is still very bullish. So more of an upside. We're just this is just a pullback for now. 
unless the price will continue to fall and if this one breaks this area aggressively which is at 108.50 uh, then there's gonna be most likely we're gonna be for the bearish uh, bear is gonna take over and uh, yeah we're gonna see where we're gonna end up uh, but for until now if the price does not break this uh, list level I will be keeping a more of an upside uh, in terms of the, the bigger picture but there could be some potential for the short-term plays in terms of the day trades I do day as well as swing trades so depending uh, what type of trader you are uh, let's have a look on the four hour time frame okay so on the four hour time frame yeah we did test it so the black lines as i said it's um, a four hourly um, resistance or support level i use them because uh, if i day trade um, the price does react on these uh, levels uh, anyway so the, we we bounced pretty nicely we pushed a bit down uh, it's pretty yeah for now not very um oops for now this is a bit tricky so i need to see what's going to happen basically or when the market opens how the the price is going to work out but as i said the more uh top was bullish the price is looking pretty bullish uh depends if if it just the pullback and the price is going to start coming up if if we're going to see more movements uh the bullish movements then definitely i'll be looking for more upside we have another uh, weekly resistance which is up to this level at around 111 111 85 zone so this is the uh, the next one and of course uh, if when I see more bullish strength then I would be looking to target this area uh, I will not bother too much about this one because we already tested this area and there's a higher chance that the price will break it uh, or you might do this come down as the price likes to mess around take out this low and then uh, basically come up after that so you might uh, you want to be ready for basically what market's gonna throw it to you because um, yeah if too many traders on it then market likes to shake them off okay guys this was a weekly forex analysis if you find this video helpful please smash the like on this video i do appreciate it and if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe i upload new videos every single week have a great weekend and i'll see you guys in my next video